Hi, I'm Joelle from Jedi Mum Tricks and today I'm going to show you how I made this doll tree house. I've seen tree houses like this, um, all different types, big ones, small ones, um, which are really good for, for imaginative play. They can be used um, in all different ways. We can, um, it could be a, a fire station, a shopping mall. It's, it's really so much better than a normal dollhouse, which is all pink with a bedroom and the, all the, the usual stuff. It, it can be just used as whatever the children imagine. So the ones that, that I've seen online, um, you might've seen also, they're like two or three hundred dollars. So um, that was not really something that was attainable for us. So I, I had a look at Kmart and I came up with a cheaper solution. Um, so I, we wanted, I wanted to have something for my children, but I didn't want it to cost so much, obviously. So I, I had a look at um, Kmart and I saw these um, these um, small chopping boards and, and things, and I thought I could probably do something with this and make and make a treehouse myself. So I gave it a go, and it um, I showed you guys, and you all went crazy for it and asked for me to do this video. So here I am. So let me show you how I did it. First of all, I got this um, round serving board. It's called Wood Serving Platter from Kmart. They're $8. I've actually used these before to make some, um, some educational boards, which I'll show you in the, fit, in the photos coming up. Um, so these can be a bit tricky to find. Sometimes, so you just look at, with, with the chopping boards or sometimes with the serving platters. Um, just If they're not there, just go back and look again. I think I went to like four different Kmarts until I found one. Um, but they're worth finding. They're really solid and good good base for the treehouse. And the other item from Kmart is um, these six mini surfboards. Um, they're from the Christmas stock. So um, just look in the um, in the kitchen area where they have all the Christmas things. Um, you better hurry because they'll probably stop selling them once the Christmas stuff is finished. They're nice and heavy and solid acacia wood as well. So they make the perfect um, platforms for the different levels. And then um, these um, cedar wood rings, I got these from the reject shop, they were $2 a packet. Um, used two packets to make the staircase. Um, I don't know what they're actually for, I think to put in the cupboard with your clothes to, so they don't stink or something, but yeah, they've been, they've been really helped. They're really perfect for, for what we need. So if you can't find them at the reject shop, I've seen them sold in other places as well. Just have a look, maybe even eBay. And then for the fun part, you get to go exploring in the bush like I did and find some nice big sticks. Um, yeah, you want them to be quite thick and um, heavy because if they're really light, then they've been hollowed out and they're not gonna be really useful. So you just get different um, thicknesses and lengths and then you can chop them down to size. And then um, I just had some jute rope um, that I already had that was from Kmart, but you can get it anywhere. Um, to, that was for the, um, the bridge. And then some smaller sticks to cut, cut up to use for the bridge or you can make a ladder or whatever. So they're good to have as well. Okay, now that you've got everything that you need, let's get started. Okay, so now we've got to chop the wood. Um, I use a miter saw, um, which is really quick and easy, but um, if you don't have one of these, a, a normal hand saw will, will do the trick. And then here we go, safety first. <laughs> and then when there's some interesting bits like this, I just like to leave them and, and cut around it. I'm just doing um, rough lengths, whatever, um, not any particular length, because we can make staggered, um, staggered levels. Okay, I've got six pieces, let's see what we can do. So now let's see um, how we can put this thing together. Um, just open up your serving boards. Um, some of them might have stickers, just pull those off. Um, so there's two of each size, two big ones, two square ones, and two circle ones. I like to, um, with the other treehouse I made, I just had the big ones first, 
and then the middle layer was um, the squares and then the tops I had the circles um, yeah so just see what your your sticks are saying to you and which way you want to con configure it um, to, to make it work okay so for the first level um, I've chosen the, the, the thickest um, sticks um, and the biggest um, boards I've just put them a little bit together just like this so you can see um, just so there'll be an, another connection point I can glue and screw there as well just to give it extra stability and then I'll, I'll be screwing and gluing on each one of these and from underneath at the bottom I'll show you how to do that next okay so first step we're gonna um, put these attach them to the, the base so the first thing I want to do is just drill some pilot holes into the middle of the base and into the um, baseboard I just do it roughly, I don't really measure because it's a rustic piece. Okay, so now we're ready to screw them in. Okay, next I'm just going to use these countersink drill bits um, that just allows you to. Um, put a little indent so the screw won't be sticking out so um, so that's for the bottom of the baseboard so that it will sit flat just going on where I had already drilled so if you like to see those that's how it looks so the, the um, screws will sit right in. Okay, so now we're putting on the base bits. Um, I've just done this one and I'll show you what I did on, over, over here. Um, so the first thing I wanna do, we'll just get the screw coming through from the bottom. Just enough until I see him poking through. There he is. Okay, so then I'm just gonna put some glue on the bottom of here where the hole is that I had before. Okay, so now we're going to put the first stage, the first level on. Um, just if you can see, there's there's one side with the um, border on and there's one plain side. I like to have the plain side facing up so it looks more like natural wood. Um, so I've just, I'm just going to place them how I would like them. And then I'm going to um, screw the first one up just the pilot hole so we can get that done. bit of glue between them here just to hold them I'm not going to screw them together um, I'll just clamp it together until it dries a little bit just to hold it really well um, the, the rest of it doesn't need clamps because it's got screws that they act as the, the clamps okay. hi wardrobe change it's been a week between shoots um, we just got busy and we didn't get to finish it until now Okay, so the next part, we're going to be um, doing the square ones. That's, you don't have to, but this is my choice. Um, and then we'll do the circle ones last. Um, so we're just going to, uh, I chose these two pieces of wood. I'm going to set them up like this and, and then get the wood on, on there um, for the next level. Now that I've got these um, big sticks on, we're just going to attach these. I'm going to use the holes that are already here and I'm just going to um, drill it into here 
and then attach it into the other one to keep it really strong and then the other one will just go on top like that so it'll be just a little bit higher and um, it will just stick, sit there problem solving that's the only thing that makes it tricky because you don't know what kind of sticks you're gonna get and how it's gonna all fit together but yeah you've got to just figure out how to do it and then work out how to connect them all but um, glue and screws is really strong so if you can try to get everything supported in different directions by glue and screws it's gonna it's gonna hold well okay so now where should I put my stairs maybe I'll put them through the middle here So, you know, as, as you can imagine, this doesn't set straight away, so it's going to be a bit fiddly trying to do it. So the, the way I do it is I just glue on, I glue two together at a time, let them set. And then, um, and then once we do that, we glue two twos together, so we have groups of four, and then, and then we put the thing together and it'll be much easier that way. So I'll just put the twos together now. Oh, and also, just glue it so that you cover up the hole like that. These have had a chance to dry a little. I'm gonna grip them into two fours. Just gonna glue them together like that. So put them in a little bit of an angle. Drying. I've just cut up some sticks, um, just all different ones, if kind of kind of um, same length but not quite, um, just to keep it a bit um, rustic. Um, so these short ones, these are for the um, bridge. So all I'm going to do is going to drill a hole in each end, and then we'll tie it with with the rope, with the um, the jute rope. And this one, it's a bigger one. I'm going to use it as the swing. Okay, now I've got holes in each end of these little sticks. Um, only eight of them survived, a couple of them got split, that's okay. Um, so we're gonna, I've got um, two long bits of, um, of the jute rope. Just wanna make it long just in, um, so we have plenty there. Um, just thread it through. We're gonna have one rope on one side of the sticks and one rope on the other. We're gonna form the bridge. So... How about we just bring it all the way through and we're going to do a double knot. Okay, so I'll, I'll attach this bridge between here and here. I just need to drill some holes and then I can tie it on. Okay, 
now we've got the bridge up I'm just gonna put the swing on I'm gonna put it over here so it has room to swing um, and if you can see this little bit that sticks out I'm just gonna tie um, one side of the rope there and the other side I'm gonna drill a hole down there so what we do just put it through the I've already drilled holes in here on each end Put it through one end. While the glue's not set, um, I've just got some blocks. So I'm just going to put them underneath. This one's a bit too big, um, just to support it. Just one more thing, I'm going to use a brown permanent marker just to colour in the tops of the silver screws so they don't look so obtrusive on there. And that's how it's done! Treehouse for you kids! <laughs>